everyone, along with Eddie Olchak, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm the carnivore here, Mike Emmerich, because I like the fights. Coincidental fighting majors. What do you think? Well, I think it's a part of our game that uh, has a place, Doc, and certainly the numbers in fighting in the National Hockey League and all levels of hockey have gone way down, and I think rightfully so, but I think it is still a deterrent for how guys play in the National Hockey League, and as long as there's nobody getting an upper hand, uh, I don't mind guys dropping their gloves. Let's look at the starting netminders. Roberto Luongo answers the call to the crease tonight, an NHL All-Star, part of the stingiest tandem in the league with Corey Schneider in Vancouver in 2011, nearly a decade and a half in the NHL. Pecorine is the starter almost all the time. He's the finisher, an NHL All-Star. He followed up being the winningest goalie in the AHL in Milwaukee with being winningest in the NHL in Nashville. Chara's a starter here. That means he is expected to set the tempo. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Emrick. This playoff game is underway. And possession snapped up by Cromwell. Hit the post with the shot. Good centering pass to the slot. Krejci's tripped and a penalty should be coming. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Calgary's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Minnesota's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Solid, clean win. Calgary's lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Calgary's got another face-off win. Good job of clearing. Dumped in. Puck settled down by Anisimov. Wheels it on behind his own net and looks. Still has control in the defensive zone to Cronwall. Snapping a pass to Anisimov. And goes back a little further, hoping to gain ground. Pass caught, strong play. Looking to a Gimler. It's a two on two. Might be an opportunity here. Directing that one to Shifley. Breakaway. What a save by Luongo. Calgary's gotten back even. Penalty kill. And it's driven back so they can make a change. And possession once again by Crosby. In his own end, puck still on his stick. Minnesota is accelerating on in neutral ice. Shoot! The shot is off! It's dumped in. And the puck now possessed by Nicholas Cromwell. Passing one off now to Anisimov. Puck gathered in behind the net by Weidman. Takes it up near the boards. Mashed in. He could start some danger here. Heads on to the corner. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Pass attempt to Anisimov. Puck is thrown to Crosby. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. As you look back through the years of Roberto Luongo, what stands out in your mind? Well, a gold medal winner with Team Canada at the Olympics in Vancouver in 2010. And then a year plus later, getting the Vancouver Canucks to the Stanley Cup Final and losing a home game in Game 7 to the Boston Bruins. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Nice tip of the pass. Perp cut his glove on it. And possession snapped up by Mazaros. Minnesota's carrying it on through center ice. Drill. Oh, big sweeping save. One timer. And that shot missed. Hammered. And it's driven away. Can he generate something? Loose puck captured by Perry. And at an angle to Krejci. Great glove grab. 
Calgary's controlling the play at center ice. Good quick stick. Loose puck brought in by Mazaros. Pushing it on up the wing. Swept on to Krejci. Calgary's lugging it along in the defensive zone. And snapped up by Larson. Geometrically to Bork. Nearing the final minute. And he dumps it in. Nabbed by Larson. Skate kick out of the scrum. And snap to Bork. To Zajac. On to Bork. Terrific club save. Puck lifted out. And the next thing we will see are zeros. First 20 minutes are finished here. We are scoreless. The goalies were strong. Let's check out the shots on goal in that opening period. Six for the Wild and three for Calgary. During the game, please remember to be aware of all times in our seating area. Lebanco's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. Twenty minutes in the books, twenty minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? Not a lot of shots by either team, Doc, in the first period, but I like the way that they both ended that period. So let's see if that continues here in the second. Second period underway and no score. Right from the slot. Kick save. Outstanding. Has that point pass as well. Marvelous save by Luongo. An unbelievable stop from a high-scoring area. Calgary setting it up as they move through center. One-timer. He got his glove on that one. A shot. That hit somebody. Trying to go to Nikushkin. Moving it to Krejci. Up the wing. And quickly to Perry. Brilliant save by Luongo. Got his stick on it. And now it's directed to Gabriel. Moved to the shadow of the boards by Marion Gaffer. Pitching this one to Perry. Drill. Oh, that's a great save by Luongo. Drives in with it. Looking for options. To the point to Cromwell. Big save. Shot kicked away. Pitching at the yarder. What dangerous play made by the goaltender. But he's got it. The Flames through the neutral zone controlling play now. Snapping a pass to Halischuk. Muscled long to King. Pass to the slot. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Over nine minutes have passed. Game still waiting for its first goal. Defensive zone win. The Flames in their own end have control of the puck. And that one is sailed back in. Puck taken behind the net by Larson. A whistle and a rest. Good clean win. Shoots one. Oh, and that shot is way off. They did everything right there except hit the net. Minnesota's in control of the puck in their own end. Wonderful center. Superb save by Luongo. That save was much more difficult than it looked. And they've got a three on two here. Pass cut by the offense. To Schultz. Carries it toward the woodwork. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Scrum over. Puck kicked. Good stick. We're booted aside. Minnesota's in their own end and controlling play now. Oh, look at this. Cursed by a broken stick. To Richards. Calgary's waiting back in their own end. Up the left side to Aginla. Corralled in his own end by Bork. Looking to Mazaros. Up the wing with it now. Cut in half by Dome. The Flames are moving the puck in their own end. 
It's an onside play. Cloud. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. And the loose puck brought in by Martin. Pass move straight up to Thornton. Thrown in. Looks ahead to start something. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here. 14 for the Wild and seven for the Flames. The Flames are getting a tremendous performance in goal tonight, even though offensively they haven't been strong. He's kept them in here, and here's one example. We'll return after these words. face-off of the third period in a scoreless game. A shot. He scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. If you really think about it, at some point, the puck's got to get through the middle of the ice. The area in between the two face-off dots, if you get there, you're going to get rewarded. Rene's able to just get a small piece of this. It bounces off him and goes into the net. The Flames finally struck for the game's first goal. They had a huge advantage in time of possession, but no reward until now. Laid on to Whiteman. And the puck is seized by Marion Gapper. Off the goal post. Possession taken over by Crosby. Picked up in the attacking zone. Outstanding save by Rene. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Directing that one to Nichushkin. Dumped in. Puck gotten behind the net by Chara. Passing one off now to Gabriel. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. Oh, what a play. And it's nabbed by Krejci. Wonderful job as he plays it up the wing. On that interception, might turn into something. The Flames in their own end, ready in attack. Picks it up in his own end. Tries to get it on net. And the puck taken over by Charlie. Moved up the side by Orpin. One timer, not there. I know that shot just missed the net, but that thing was moving. Pass attempt to Yonker. He banks the pass ahead. Calgary's in their own end, carrying it on. Toward the net. Score! to this area of the ice, you got to get rid of that puck quickly, and he did. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. A little over halfway through the third. Calgary's lead on the strength of that recent goal is two. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Puck is thrown to Erhoff. The Flames wheel it up the wing. Directed on. Score! Three straight goals. Presence of mind to get to the front of the net, open up, and one time it didn't pass the goaltender. Ends with good airtime on this pass, flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Flames win that neutral zone faceoff. Calgary's controlling play along the boards. Puck controlled by Marshan. Fires! Good save there. Possession established on the pickup by Larson. Minnesota's moving the puck through center ice. Trying to go to Reader. Good defensive play. Possession changes. Right on his stick on the centering pass. Clubbed. 
And a long pass up the wing to Sharp. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Foley's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Shoots one. And a save. Calgary's recoiling back in their own end. Terrific interception. Swung between the blue lines by Thornton. It's dumped in. On through the corner. Got it all. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. And here again is Ray. Luongo's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. A spectacular performance for him, Ray. Eddie and I have talked in the intermission about how we can think of at least three or four that are going to wind up on a highlight reel. Takes off win here. Off a of body. Back near the blue line to Ormpig. Oh, a close call there. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Nice play by the goaltender to freeze it up and get a whistle. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. So he tried to make a flashy glove save. He didn't catch it. It's in the net. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Gathered in by Thornton. Moving it to Nechuskin. Near the boards. Taken away. Propel to Thornton. Mashed in. Steps right behind the net and takes over. Swatted down. Back in front. Got a piece of it. And he holds on. Rene's athleticism is on display. That's an odd man rush against him. Excellent save. Prevail again. That hit somebody. Takes his pass from the goalie. Calgary's accelerating ahead through center ice. And he dumps it in. He can start some danger here. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Oh, the pass just didn't work. And now it's directed to Hallis Chuck. Minnesota's continuing to probe up the wing. The horn sounds and the game is over. The Flames have one big in this one. Much easier to play with the puck as they did all night long.